Pop has given up on Namde Kano. See the shocking things they did, Joe Ibokwe claims. The arrest of Namde Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafran, has continued to cause a lot of reactions online. More news reports are still coming regarding his arrest and extradition to Nigeria. Earlier today, it was confirmed that indeed Namde Kano was arrested in Kenya after the Guardian revealed that his British passport is still in Kenya and that the separatist leader was arrested in Nairobi, Kenya. But the most surprising and shocking news report I read today was that Namde Kano has been replaced at Radio Biafra with another separatist named Simon Ekba. This made me arrive at the opinion that IPOP group might have given up on Namde Kano and doesn't think he will be released anytime soon. According to Joe Ibokwe, the publicity secretary of the indigenous people of Biafran, Ima Powerful confirmed that Simon Ekma has been chosen to replace Namde Kano and in charge of this associationist group media pending the release of Namde Kano. I think IPOP members have realized that the Supreme Leader is in deep trouble because he has a lot of charges laid on him by the Nigerian government. Their decision to replace him might be a sign that they have given up on getting him released so quickly. I won't be surprised if IPOP starts to abandon Namde Kano because he might be going away for a very long time. Choosing his replacement at Radio Biafran is just the beginning. Soon enough, Kano might be completely removed from the leadership of IPOP. A check on the background of their new media handler, Simon Ekba, revealed that he is also a dual citizen of Nigeria and Finland, and he is also a strong member of the indigenous people of Piafran IPOP. He is younger and more vibrant than Namde Kano. Hmm. Who, who, who said so? Who said so? Let us not say what we don't know. First and foremost, let me make this correction. Nobody abandoned Namde Kano. And Namde Kano can never be abandoned. Namde Kano can never be forgotten. Namde Kano can never be left behind. Do you understand? It is Inamde Kano that suggested his replacement. And he did that to keep the agitation alive. He did that to keep the agitation moving so that the Nigerian government will know that silencing or, or keeping him away from Radio Biafran cannot stop the agitation for Biafran freedom. Just like Bishop O.K., we always say that silencing the IPOP leader will not keep the agitation away, but rather it will amplify it and strengthen them. That is what Mazen Amdekano has just is, 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 as, uh, uh, is trying to say. By demanding for his replacement. It is Inam the Kano that suggested it. It is Inam the Kano that permitted it. Inam the Kano's stay in detention is temporal. Inam the Kano's stay in DSS custody is just for the meantime. Choosing Simon Ekman is to keep the agitation alive and keep the Biafran freedom moving because there is need for continuity in the agitation of Biafran freedom. The Nigerian government 
what they are trying to do is to silence the voice of the people is to silence the movements and stop the people from voicing out so Unam the Kanu did this to pass a message to them and to make them believe that they are very much still very active in the agitation and that is what I see that is happening it is very very okay so I don't want us to stop believing that Unam the Kanu is no longer um, the people's choice the people still believe in Unam the Kanu the people still have trust in the Namde Kano. The people still have confidence in the Namde Kano. The people still believe on that on their leader, Namde Kano. Even Simon Ekma still pay reference to him. And he knows that his his being in Radio Biafran is for the meantime. You understand? So let us try and get it straight. You understand? So um I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what what we um what we, we used to be what we believe. I don't know what we think, but the only thing that I know personally is that Nam the Kanu is still very much the people's choice. The people still have faith and confidence in Nam the Kanu and they still believe that it is Nam the Kanu that can help them to see to the quick actualization of this Biafran freedom. As for those that are believing and thinking that Nam de Kano will not, um, will not see the, uh, the end of the Biafran freedom. Now, this is a message for you. Nam de Kano will see the end, We actualize the Biafran freedom. And he will be alive to witness it. He will not die. He will live because he hasn't completed the work assigned to him by God. The nomination of Simon Akbar is to keep the agitation alive and also to make the federal government to believe that they are silencing him cannot keep the agitation away but rather it will keep strengthening the agitation and it will keep strengthening the agitators and make them to agitate stronger and stronger all right so um my dear viewers based on this very fact what do you think don't forget to leave your comments below the comment box Click on the subscription buttons as well as pay buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.